Howdy folks, Justin here, and today we're hopping on the ladder with the Rampzilla Scout Deck. That's just a fun one, you get to play a lot of big, dumb creatures, and uh, you get a ramp on your way there. And uh, I think that it is, in some, even though the, the curve is not as irresponsible as it could be, uh, you do get the opportunity to have these draws that you beat these really greedy decks, uh, because you just hit these huge creatures. So we're going to go for that, and we're playing against Mr. Socrates, the hero of the people. Let's see how we do today. We have Squish the Wimpy, Odinur, Necromancer, Tree Minder. I'm going to throw back everything but the Tree Minder uh, and look for some early game stuff. We have a curve, so we can go three into four. And there's Hulking Scalon. Perfect. Uh, I will keep that. That gives me something to do next turn, which is awesome. And Hulking Scalon is uh, how we plan on winning games. So let's uh, let's rock and roll. There's a Jigalag's Incursion. Uh, this is a card... Ooh, discounted Jim Stacy. This is a card you never really want to play. Uh, you would want it to hit, hit it on a Prophecy, but I'm not honestly that disappointed in the way it's worked out for me so far. So, uh, You know, I don't play it a lot of the time, but Sharpshooter Scout, this is Doomcrag. So Hulking Scalin should be pretty good here. Good swing into that. And yeah, we're going to get our ramp game on pretty quickly. Uh, probably just steal something with Jim Stacy to uh, cut down on what my opponent's got access to. No play. All right, so we have a great curve here now, and this is the greed that I was talking about. We go Jim Stacy and Scout Support next turn, Eclipse Baroness the following turn, and should have some other stuff to do by then. So I don't actually think I've ever played this version of Ramp Scout against Doom Crag, but I think that Hulking Scalin should be pretty good. Sure. And it is, uh, you know, not the traditional build. So let's uh, swing. Let's Jim Stacy first for more information. See what we get. <clears throat> and then we're going to report. Report in. The fact that I didn't play anything last uh, on a couple turns ago really says to me that they've got some high value stuff in their hand. But of course, they could also have shit like Sharpshooter Scout, so you never really know. But I want it, whatever it is. Sword of the Inferno is pretty good with some of our slay abilities, so I'll take it. Old Veloth the Assassin. It is a way to trigger our Sword of the Inferno, but I think we're past the point in the game where we want to do that. And Necromancer can bring stuff back. I, I love what we've got going on here. I feel like our Baroness might get cast into time, which is not, of course, where we want to be. How Death Priest hitting Hulking Scalin is a way that they can deal with Hulking Scalin. Cool, dude. Alright, um... So, let's go ahead and swing. Play the Baroness. Okay, we got the discounted Tazcad, which, if it doesn't get hit with a Hollow Death Priest, is a lot of fun as well. That gets cast into time. It's fine, I, still th I think we still get to go face for another 5 here. And there's a Knight Talonlord, which we can use in a couple turns to slay this. It also functions as removal bait for... Um... This isn't, this, is, this isn't a bit interesting. We can squish the Wimpy, actually, to push a couple extra damage here. We already have the sword. Um, kind of into getting Thorn Hiss Mage on board, though, so that next turn I can hit uh, Knight Talon Lord. Squish and sword, if that's what we need to be doing. I'm going to dump that out of my hand as well. We have a lot of huge burst here. I'm pretty excited about. And let's see how many Death Priests are in their deck. So far we've been hit with Edict, Cast Into Time, and Death Priest. They know we have the Sword of the Inferno. Um, they probably have some suspicion too of how well we can exploit that card. 
And we're going to avenge our, Hark our hulking Scalen after he was so cruelly and unfairly turned into a mummy by Mr. Socrates. Let's see if we can't uh, show him a little Roman hospitality. Okay, that's a pretty good sign if he's thinking about trading like that. Greek hospitality, my bad. Okay. I really want to steal something great with this, but I also don't want to lose it to another Hell of Death Priest. That is the sort of thing I would love to take. Alright, so right now we have seven, eight, nine. Not exact lethal, which is really sad. But we'll see what we can do. And it looks like we're not actually going to get a chance to play anything fun. But we are going to get a Sword of the Inferno. Uh, which Mr. Stacy was kind enough to bring along with us. So, good game. We'll be right back for another one. Alright, welcome back to another game. Uh, between games, I made a few changes to the deck. I actually took out Jim Stacy. Um, I just wanted to... Uh, give another run through through cards I thought were really overperforming and cards were underperforming. And I know Jim Stacy was good in the last game, but I don't think that's going to generally be the case. So I took Jim Stacy out. I did add Galen, and um, I'm pretty happy with the addition of Galen. Uh, so we're playing it against Crusader. I'm going to go ahead and keep Thorn Hist Mage with the ring, uh, just because getting my ramp game on feels real important. And uh, with Scout's Report, hopefully we can find some early interaction. Let's see if they have one drop. Marked man. Okay. So maybe this is just going to be too slow, but uh, I like what, we, what we're seeing. And that is exactly where I want to be. Turn two, Tree Minder. Turn three, Thorn Hist Mage. Is the ramp dream. I mean, that's kind of what we're here to do. So, And then play giant monsters. Cleric of Kind. Okay. Well, it's going to be able to uh, step into my tree minder. But this is good. I mean, Thorn Hiss Mage dies. We bring it back. Uh, that's kind of the, how the Ramp Scout deck works. We're just working with less removal than previous iterations of Ramp Scout, perhaps. Were. And we should be able to block up this lane pretty nicely now with the Thorn Hiss Mage. And against some of these Crusader decks, obviously Crusader Assault is a super strong, super, super strong card. But against some of these decks... Uh, it's really important to stop uh, or slow down anyway. The uh, and here comes the pit line. No Moon Moth Castellan. I uh, really slow down the East March Crusaders. So and this works out fine. We just bring it back and then we probably play Eclipse Baroness. You can do a lot of fun stuff on the backs of really strong cards. I mean, it's kind of just like a, a how to play the cards you really want to play with. Jamming them into jamming them into a deck full of other strong stuff is kind of a reasonable way to, to approach that. So let's see how we do here. Penitus Oculatus, very popular card right now, but not going to be great here. Huh? Midnight snack. Well, there's Dark Seducer, but I don't think we even need to play that yet. Okay, I will play a Thieves Guild Recruit over here just to get a presence in that lane. Alright, so maybe I don't know what we're doing, or maybe this is just in there because it has Prophecy. Sure. I mean, we're at 9 Magicka now. We have a lot of options. Sure. So Dark Seducer. Pretty good here. I'm leaning actually towards them being a prophecy heavy deck. So all the pen wait, this got you this, I'm sorry, I should have figured out this was created by the Penitus um, by the Castellan. The Steel's Drain and Guard. here maybe no they're just abandoning this lane another moon moth okay so i was wrong about what's happening here 
That's Iron Atronach. Your blood stands for I think we just don't swing. Are we Tazcad and then Iron Atronach next turn? Let's just Tazcad. Keep clearing stuff off. And I'm okay with pivoting to being aggressive now because I'm going to play an Iron Atronach next turn. <clears throat> Let's see what they do. Seen within, stole this creature's fun. Penis Oculatus is in a really good spot right now because of all the sorcerer on the ladder, so I don't blame anybody for running it. Um, and, you know, other things are incidentally hit by those sorts of uh, tech choices. Um, okay, I don't know what's happening, actually. <laughs> okay, are they going to try to OTK us? Okay. Yeah, I mean, that's a thing that they can do. And an East March Crusader with no value. Okay, well, we're playing Iron Age now. <laughs> we have Lethal on board. Sometimes it'd be like this, and this is why you're playing Iron Atronach in this deck. That's why you play an Iron Atronach deck, right? Because if they can't answer it, it's hilarious. Look at this guy. <laughs> There's a lot of different ways to play Legends, and uh, sometimes this is how it's going to be. Sure, Garneg. Yeah. Gatekeeper. Uh, sure. We don't have lethal anymore. Do I need to be responsible in any way here? <laughs> it feels like no. But I don't know what they're doing either. So I'm just going to go ahead and be responsible with this. If we have to regroup, we have to regroup. Their deck seems like the kind of deck that can put two damage on my Iron Atronach. This is fascinating. I love, I love seeing stuff I don't understand. Sure. Alright, Iron Atronach down. Dawnbreaker out of the way is good. Their East March Crusader triggers. We will swing for six now. We would have been able to win if we hadn't played like this. But. Uh, Dark Seducer. Blackwood Distiller. <clears throat> Alright. I do like Dark Seducer too, because, I mean, if you run a certain number of giant creatures that have to be answered, eventually one sticks. Garnag taking down an Iron Atronox is the kind of story that I bet Garnag likes to tell. <laughs> I really would like to know what Jester's doing here. They just have a horrible draw. I mean, they have Stormcloak Vanguard, Penitus I wonder if they have a Dagoth Ur in their hand. And then they got it from... Because they haven't played another guard that we don't know about, right? Oh, no, they played the Gatekeeper, yeah. So, there's nothing. Okay. Usually against aggro-ish Crusaders, uh, the plan to win is not uh, Histgrove, but, you know, maybe it is. Sure. They got any guard they can play, they can play it over here. Twenty wall spikes. Still dead. Huh? We'll be right back for another one. 